if you send that to a girl in a text, <laughs> you normally get back panties. So Damn. thank you. Hey man. You know, you <laughs> now you're playing Tupac. I'm just playing. Ah, <laughs> kind of feeling. Take me to a place made of gold. Where the moon it's gratifying. Is What's going on folks, it's not better to do. I'm Blogzilla and you're now watching the No Judgment Zone. Today I got my guy Luke James with me. What's going on, man? Chillin' bro, chillin'. It's good to see you again. I remember the first time I bumped into you, uh, you were getting a whole bunch of buzz. It was down at Essence Music Fest like two years ago uh, with Melanie Fiona, yeah, who yeah. you worked with, a good friend of mine. Uh, now we're here, you just dropped options yeah. uh, with Rick Ross, album's finally gonna come out. That's right. Uh, what has this journey been like for you? Man, it's a lot of ups and downs, but um, you know I've been enjoying. I've been I've been enjoying the ride. You know it's beautiful. It's a uh, it's a dream come true. I'm Every time I see you, you have this uh, this this is shining smile on your face. <laughs> but you say ups and downs. What have been some of the downs? Oh, you know just. Uh, you have an, a set idea of what you want to do as an artist, you know. But at the same time, being, you know, when you when you're involved with other people, and whatnot, you just have to be a team player and just make sure that everything is um, everything is to everybody's liking, you know. So um, sometimes that could be down. You know? <laughs> but you've been building this movement the past couple of yeah. two three years now, right? Yeah. I know it's been longer, but for the past yeah. like two three years, we've been yeah. building a nice little movement. Yeah. Uh, what what have you drawn from that, and just seeing your fans interacting with them? You know what? I've 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 grown a lot. Uh, just understanding what it is I want to say and how I want to say it. You know, I'm still evolving, but um, I've just gained a lot of a lot of fans and, and just and, and a lot of um, opinions. You know, and uh, you know I listen. You know, I like to know what people are thinking and what how they feel about my music because at the end of the day, that's all it's about for me. Yeah. Um, my my expression and um, you know I've. I, I've just evolved. I'm more confident in who I am and in, in, in standing my ground. So, who is Luke James? Oh uh, man, I love to love and I love to to e express my love and I love to sing. And I, so, I'm not going to downplay that. I'm not going to I'm not going to um, demify it. Yeah. I, I want to thank you personally because I've, I've been watching you and following your career and you told me about the word loveful yeah. and if you yeah. send that to a girl in a text oh, yeah. you normally get back panties so Damn. thank you hey man you know, you know enjoy enjoy thank you thank you so now options when I first heard options I'm like okay this is a nice joint then I saw the, the lyric video and it just made it all make sense to me uh, my favorite line of there was she was like I didn't think you would hurt me that bad yeah. is there truth to that is there a background to that well you know it's a uh, you know, when you're thinking of a relationship, you know, and, and, and when you're in a relationship, you know, things can get out of hand, and uh, you, you can make a decision. Um, you can have an idea upon a position that you and the other person are, are in, and, and, and really the matter is that, that you have a choice to make that, to whether have life or not. Yeah. Um, I didn't think you would hurt me that bad. It's, you know, it's, you know, you know, young ladies, just like us, sometimes it would do stuff spitefully. Now, you're from New Orleans, yes. right? Uh, what was it like growing up in New Orleans? How was it there for you as a kid? Hot. Mm. Um, yes. Humid. Uh, but, but just a soulful, beautiful place. I didn't know it until I left New Orleans, what I had, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, it was great, man. <clears throat> a lot of fun times. A lot of growing, a lot of whoopings. Um, <laughs> you ever got a whooping you did? You felt like you didn't deserve? Oh yeah, all of them mostly, you know. But that's just being a kid, I guess. Yeah. You know. Uh, what was the worst boss you ever had? And if you had like a regular job, the worst boss you ever had? The worst boss? Wow, I had a regular job, but you know, no. Uh, shout out to Miss Ann, <laughs> Sunshine. Uh, I used to work at the Fudgery. Mm. Um, it's like a place where they flip fudge and do shows and sing as they're making the and creating the fudge um, down in New Orleans. Um, she wasn't the worst. She she definitely helped me out. She prepared me for life for this business. Um, I wasn't good at doing shows. I was basically a newcomer, and so she she made me. She took my Saturday morning, made me come in. I was the only one that came in to work. Um, and where the fudgery is, it's it's a it's a tourist spot. It's right like next door to like the Bourbon Street and all that. And so I had to do all the shows until the the, ne the, the next shift came in. That was like probably around three. So I did it like I did about 15 shows. And 
just drove me crazy. I mean, just made me do everything. And I was, I was, I was a nervous kid. I'm still a nervous kind of person, but uh, she, it helped me out though. It just prepared me for life. Just you know, at the end of the day, one monkey don't stop the show, and you gotta, you have to, you have to, uh, you have to show out. People came to see you. You gotta show out no matter what, and um, be on. Now you show out. Uh, I saw you perform for, I think it was ABFF last year. No, no, oh, it was some film festival you did. Uh, here in New York City, uh -huh. killed it. It was my oh, first time seeing you perform actually because oh, wow. I missed you at Essence. Oh, and I was like, wow, like it was such a great show. Uh, the girl who's in that picture behind you was in love with you now. Um, <laughs> so, that, so that prepared you to wink at Michelle Obama. Bam, it sure did. It was just like a friendly <laughs> wink. Like, just like, a, you know, I see you there, I acknowledge you. And I'm acknowledging this moment that I'm in singing before Michelle Obama, Stevie Wonder. Patti LaBelle, Cicely Tyson, Will Smith, Spike Lee, Mariah Carey, I can keep going, Colin Powell, Jesse Jackson, mm. Terrence Howard, Terrence Howard was making people get up wow. off their seats. Was it that moment that you felt like, you know, I'm one of you guys, or were you still there as like a fan? I, I guess it's a here I am moment. This is what I've been waiting for. This, this moment, all the nights of making all the noise in my room, singing in the mirror, uh, mother screaming, shut up. Um, trying to get in talent shows, rehearsing, singing other people's songs. This is what all that was for, for this moment right here. And if this is the last moment, I'm gonna make the best of it. I, 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 I just indulged in, in the whole thing. I blacked out. Now, I saw one of the interviews you said that the best advice Beyonce gave you was to not cheat on your girlfriends. Yeah. How did you apply that advice to your real life? Um, you know, I think, I think, you know, my team, man, they're a big thing, they're, they're big on karma. And you know, especially my one of my managers, Frank. He always says, you know, your karma is gonna mess with my karma. You know, so uh, you know, just just be good. I think at the end of the day, what she was saying to me is just be good, and good will come to you. So your album comes out in September, September 23rd to be exact, yeah. uh, the Tuesday before my birthday. Shameless plug. Solid. <laughs> um, where do you see yourself in a year from now? Uh, back here talking to you uh, about uh, the next album and, and more movies and more opportunities and just just uh, expanding my territory. Yeah, you know what I mean. You did your thing in Black Nativity too. Thank you. Yeah. Um, how was that experience? For did you get a chance to build with uh, some of the great actors in it? Yes. Yes. Um, Angela Bassett was just a, a beautiful, beautiful human being. Isn't she a lovely person? She is so good. Yeah. Um, she kept me away from the. Um, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, it's the snack table. <laughs> yeah, she and she she had the um, the chef make me a salad when everyone else was getting Popeyes and stuff like that. <laughs> Thank you so much. But you know, she was put me on to how to stay lean and, and stay young forever. Yeah. Um, Forrest Whitaker, he was just a great, great, great person. Um, just I just gathered their their professionalism, you know, and and Jennifer Hudson, of course. That's that's the homie. So she she was always. She was just great to me. Tyrese, this is my big bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, Jacob Lattimore, that, he's on he's on his way. Now you're playing Tupac. Ah, playing Tupac. I wish. <laughs> I wish. That'd be a great role, wouldn't it? Man, if that was true right there, I'll take it. We're just throwing it in the universe, right? right? What, why not? You gotta say it. Now, I had a chance to party with you guys out on South by Southwest. Mm -hmm. You are a member of the Jackets. Yeah. Uh, the coolest crew, Ro James, oh, yeah. uh, everyone else. Um, and you guys party. Yes, we, we do. Really party. Yes, can we you do. can you give me a story of something that you did when you know you 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 were really really zooted out of your mind uh -huh. or, just, or just you know? Oh wow. wow. Well, you know it's crazy when we all get together. It's like there's no telling what can happen. I mean, we party until until the sun comes up. You know, it's like we like think of ourselves as the revolution. You know, it's just it's that it's, we we we're just that wild and crazy. And uh, Beyonce. Yes. Went on tour with her. Mm -hmm. Is she? Uh, an associate, a friend, or she family? All of the above. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, is, nobody lends, puts out a hand to you, you know, for no reason. And, and, you know, sometimes I'm like, okay, thank you. You know what I mean? I'm just like sitting there, why, why, why this? You know, why give me this? And I mean, it works out, you know, and I'm just grateful for her to put me on tour. She didn't have to. There are people who would pay yeah. to open up, but to give that to me for free, 
thank you so much, you know, and uh, she's just been a great supporter. Her and the, the Destiny's Child family just been great supporters since the beginning. Um, so definitely family. I know there was, there was a lot of talk about the album coming out, yeah. and you nurtured it, and you said the music was your baby. Yeah. Uh, when did you know you finally had it? Uh, three weeks ago. Wow. No, you know, it's it's a feeling for me. Everything's a feeling, and, and I want to make sure that I'm saying everything I want to say and loving everything that I'm saying. Yeah. You know, um, and that, that, you know, I care that much. You know, I don't. I'm not into the whole back-to-back -back album thing. I'm, I'm you know, I, I, I take pride in what I create. You know, and I want to make sure that this album is something that's going to stand the test of time, and and to build on to to the rest of my body of work. Just be careful when you bring your lady to see his show, because if you're not too careful, they end up following each other on Instagram and Twitter, and next thing you know. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not. That's she not me. His pictures. That's not my. That's not my deal, man. That's Trey Song. <laughs> I'm not Mr. Steal Your Girl. That's not me. No. That's not me. Bring your girl. I'm just gonna help the situation. I'm, I'm equivalent to you putting on Jodeci. I'm the same. So it's, it's, a, it's a good bet. I wanna thank you for stopping by. Hey, man. Thank you yep. so you much. You know we're gonna do on the show next week. Join us next week when we paint llamas and then slap box with them and throw darts at them. <laughs> What it is, this is Luke James and you're watching Global Grinds. First record I do on 2 Chains, Boo. You know what I'm saying? Followed by Ryan Round on getting it. The money, I'm gonna leave for ask for a white girl. <laughs> What's wrong with that? And, and she will leave you, I'm sure, for...